Low volatility doesn't mean low risk. In January, we have seen a massive slump in volatility, both in bonds and in the overall volatility index. That means, obviously, that uh, we are in an environment in which investors are looking at risk on as their strategy. Uh, that's why equities, bonds, cryptocurrencies are rising all in unison. And certainly the perception that central banks have sort of uh, stopped at least the, the, the strength or the acceleration in rate hikes, that they have uh, maintained a more dovish tone in their assessments and that they're going to be more accommodative works. And on the other hand, the idea that global macroeconomic uh, uh, situation is slightly better than expected. So, what we have is much lower perception of volatility, much lower volatility in markets, much lower perception of risk, and certainly a much more benign environment, both in terms of the macro environment and the monetary policy. That does not mean that this is all fantastic. We need to be aware that sometimes this works as a very dangerous view uh, of uh, taking too much risk too fast without taking into account what happens afterwards. Hmm? So, basically just be prudent. Be prudent and be aware that the macroeconomic environment remains uh, quite unstable and certainly not bullish, that inflation remains elevated, that central banks continue to tighten and obviously that we need to be looking for opportunities, but not anywhere at any price.